What's up guys? Uh, Mist here and today I have a headband review. Uh, not a headband review, it's more of a headband collection. Um, don't want to go to full details on this because half of my collection are in boxes and I'm currently in the process of moving. So, yeah. So I want to do a, a headband collection video. Shout out to Save Jalda. Um, I'll try to post a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Um, I'm getting more headbands. I'm gonna. I'm waiting on a couple of them to arrive in the mail. Have another Cloud uh, Cloud Village headband on its way. So, so for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the headbands I have. This is the Ally Shinobi Forces headband. This was. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite headbands. The kanji symbol to the plate stands for the word Shinobi. Um, this headband is pretty much a different headband compared to this one. This is a, a Dosco's or an MTXC edition headband. It's the Ally Shinobi Forces headband. So, as you can tell, this is the headband I use a lot. I've worn it so many times and it's still in good condition. This is the old one I used to wear. As you can see, it's already been to its fractional form. And then this one is barely bending to its form. It just takes time depending how you use it. The next part of my collection is the Kunoha uh, Leaf Village headband. This is Rock Lee's or Sakura's, whichever you prefer. Um, this headband was, was the second rarest headband to be released by Great Eastern, but unfortunately, well fortunately for you guys, but unfortunately for me, the price dropped and they started reprinting this this uh, headband, so now everybody can get it. It was, a, it was a second rarest headband, and then after that was Jiraiya's headband, so. Uh, yeah, it's Great Eastern, it's got the original Naruto plating to it. The back's got the, uh, Official Naruto tag to it. Yeah. The next headband I have is one of the headbands that just recently got released from Great Eastern Entertainment themselves. And that is the Hidden Cloud Village. This was released in 2019. It was announced on, I believe it was... I think it was announced in August that they were going to make a new headband. Um, they've had this headband planned out since like somewhere in the 2000s or the 2010s. But they never came up with an idea how it's going to look. But this headband itself is it was just released in January of 2019, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, to me, this headband, um, I like the way how they made it into a quite one original from uh, the way uh, how Killer B had it. And plus, most of the people from the Hidden Cloud have their headbands white, so it makes a lot more sense. I actually bend it a little bit. By the way, shout out to uh, Save Jalda. This is the reason I'm doing this uh, this uh, collection, half of my collection review. I think I gave him a shout in the beginning, I'm not too sure. Um, this headband itself pretty much is pretty useful. It's new. I'm getting another one on the mail, so I'm kind of expecting one more and another headband as well. So, got the original Naruto. This is the Shippuden uh, compared to this one. The original Naruto series carried this one, and then Shippuden carried this one. So, it's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, you can get this headband on eBay for like 31, no, not 31, it's 21 something. But I suggest you get it on uh, on eBay. It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot faster. This is the eBay one. The one from Amazon is getting factory made, meaning it's fresh out of the factory. Um, so that one's like 21 bucks, and it's taking about a month or two to get here. So yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> so get yourself this one. By the way, this might be the rarest headband, the second rarest. I say that because the Jiraiya headband that I'm trying to get, let me show you real quick, um, the dry headband I'm getting is very rare, 
nobody has the headband and it's very hard for people to actually uh, knowledge of how the headband looks this is the Jiraiya headband I'm talking about it's the number one rarest headband from Great Eastern and it's very rare to get it so this is the rarest this might be second rarest if not this might be second rarest so if you don't have this I suggest you start buying them now before the end of 2019 because they're probably not going to make them anymore and knowing Great Eastern they're probably going to do it on purpose <laughs> I wouldn't blame them at all next is the, the like I said this this is the Rock Lee edition headband it was hard to get but now it's easy to get on eBay Amazon and all other stores so the next headband I have is the I call it the Love Village headband um, it's very very flexible I will tell you that like let me see if I can take it out for you guys the beauty about this headband is that when you bend it like that it goes back to its form so you can cosplay Shikamaru you can cosplay any other uh, character and it will still stay in this shape uh, shout out to Suki Cosplay for actually making me a custom headband. I actually got it in in in, uh, in yellow because I'm doing an all yellow shoot with my Persona Cosplay, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So, yeah. The Love Village headband plate. So, yeah. And the next headband, everybody's been asking me about this headband because I've had this headband for couple of months now and it was one of my my expensive headbands this is the Hichigani yes it's called the Hichigani headband metal plate the difference between this and this the plate is more squared while these are more of an ovally round shape to it Um, it does come in all features like the velcro strap that goes right behind the plate um, measures the same way This one I got is was the black plate one with the white um, Fabric uh, to it I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm burping um, This headband uh, was my expensive headband and the reason I say that was because it cost me forty nine ninety nine for the ship, for, not for the shipping, for the headband, but shipping included. It will add another ten dollars, so in total, it'll be fifty nine ninety nine, close to sixty bucks. Shipped all the way from Osaka, Japan. This headband was worth the wait. I'm actually waiting on a black one, meaning that this part of the fabric is black, and the metal plate is just metal, like silver metal. So expect more update videos of my headbands. Um, again, shout out to Save Jalda. I'll try to post the link to his Instagram. Um, like I said, this headband on Amazon is like 21. Get it on eBay. You'll get it for like 18 bucks. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually paid this for 18 bucks with shipping and everything included. And it got here in f like more than three or four days. So you have no idea how I'm happy to get this. So anyone that's a huge Naruto fan collector. Get yourself these headbands. I mean, it's worth the money. I have more headbands. I just don't want to bring all of them at once. So, I decided to do the video itself like, like this. It's just half of my collection. I have more headbands and I got a couple of more. So, yeah. And before I sign out, I do want to give you guys an update. I am getting a Naruto Expedition headband. For those who don't know what the fuck that is, it's a Japanese official headband and it's metal too it's like this sign with like a square shape to it i'm getting the kunaha which is the itachi one and no the kunaha and the anti uh leaf village which is itachi's headband and the ally shinobi forces because i love the symbol to the shinobis i don't know i'm obsessed with, with letters in japan for some weird reason it's kind of weird but whatever Anyways, guys, I'm also, um, like I said, I'm going to buy that first, the, uh, what's it called, the, the Expedition headband, and then later on, I'm getting the uh, Boruto 
headbands. I'm not a big fan of Boruto, but I'm planning on getting it. The Boruto headband comes with a Velcro strap instead of the Velcro ties. Like these, you need to tie them up to, you know, wear the headband. But I'm getting the Velcro ties. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is your boy, Mist. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Laters.